Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me once again today. Did you feel that earthquake there in Nevada, the magnitude 5.1? It was close to Austin, which is over here on the west, and Eureka. There's been several earthquakes since then in that location. So far, three earthquakes, a magnitude 5.1, a 3.4 and a 3.0 that USGS is reporting. All real shallow except the 3.0. Uh, 1.5 miles, 2.0 miles, and then the 5.6 miles. Nevada is riddled with fault zones, but in this location, they only have three small ones drawn out. Uh, this one would be the Antelope Range Fault Zone. Now, if that is a fault zone, it's a northeast striking down to the west range of faults with the west facing scarps. USGS gave an intensity level of five, meaning it was felt indoors by many people. They had some breakage of dishes, maybe windows, um, plaster, and tall objects would have been knocked over. So if you're watching this video, what kind of damage did you have? And what did it feel like? What direction did it come from? How did your pets react? All right, and then we got some reports all the way over here by California. Uh, let's see. Wellington, intensity level 2. Uh, Colfax, intensity level 2. Um, up here by Utah. Yeah, they said they felt it also. Augen. Utah intensity level three. Okay, wow. Interesting. Oh, Los Angeles. Someone from LA said they felt it. Um by Riverside it looks like. Um Ontario intensity level three. It was um pretty early or late at night. Here we got another one. San Jose. Uh Newark. Intensity level 2. The earthquake occurred, I believe, at 2.34 a.m. local time. I could be wrong about that. Um, eight people sent in reports to USGS. Did you feel it? Website. Uh, no one sent in any reports to EMSC. Let's bring this out a little bit because there is, um, let's see, 1915. There was a 6.8 to a 7.7 .7 close to that location. And then normally the earthquakes are further west. 1954, a 6.8. Uh, another one in 1954. Let's see. Oh, 7.1 and a 6.2. Yeah, right there. Uh, 1932, a 7.3. Yeah, kind of unusual to be so far east. Yeah, but this a area is capable of having large earthquakes, so I hope everyone's prepared. Yeah, and up over here would be Elko, Battle Mountain. Let's see what else we got. Um, Lund, etc. And once again, there is Austin, and then over here uh, would be um, Eureka. Yeah, did you feel it? Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.